Oh, hang on. I'm Chris and Chris and welcome to So Cool and Science. Science you can do it. I'm just checking out some wicked cool transitional fossils and going over today's science file. And today's science file is this. Did birds evolve from dinosaurs? Well, that's a great question. Try this. Okay, some people say that there's absolutely no such thing as transitional fossils. And therefore, you can evolve one creature into a new. And we call these people Hip Day Itchy. Ha <laughs> ha! It's just a fancy way of calling people a turd. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you how to spot a transitional fossil right in your own home, just like the real scientists do every single day. Okay, let's head back. Oh, 230 million years ago. And you'll find this guy. Eel Raptor. No, 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 not Eel Raptor. E-O Raptor. <laughs> now let's go, oh, haha, -ha, 90 million years ago. And you'll find this guy. Ichthyornis. Ichthyornis. It's a primitive bird. Now, let's go to about, oh, 150 million years ago. And you find this guy, Archaeopteryx. Archaeopteryx. Yeah, it's actually easy to say, you know, after you've said it a thousand times. <laughs> now, when we compare the Archaeopteryx skeleton to the Euraptor skeleton and the Ichthyornis skeleton, we see that the Archaeopteryx skeleton shares both traits with the raptor skeleton and the primitive bird skeleton. Now, if that doesn't convince you right there that there really are transitional fossils, then you really are <laughs> a turd. So, what exactly is a transitional fossil? And what other transitional fossils do we have? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. A transitional fossil is any fossilized organism that shares common traits with two different species, such as Archaeopteryx. When we compare the raptor skeleton to the Archaeopteryx skeleton, they look almost identical, sharing numerous skeletal traits. In fact, if it wasn't for the fossilized feathers, scientists would have classified it as just another member of a raptor family. And when we compare the Ichthyornis skeleton to the Archaeopteryx skeleton, we also see numerous skeletal similarities. They both had feathers, teeth in the mouth, and Ichthyornis still has a slight tailbone, just like Archaeopteryx. And when we look close at the hand bones of Archaeopteryx, they're elongated, just like the bones in the Ichthyornis skeleton. We don't just know birds evolved from dinosaurs just by their bones and feathers. We also know that dinosaurs built nests, laid hard-shelled eggs, and fed their offspring, which are all things that modern-day birds also do as well, as well as birds share genetics with dinosaurs, telling us that birds evolved from the raptor family of dinosaurs. Numerous transitional fossils have been found, such as Tiktaalik, which shares the fins of fish and has an amphibian-like head. So now you know more about transitional fossils. You know, seeing transitional fossils right at home is why science is so cool. Ha! <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good night!